What's up? Welcome into your daily Buckeye Blitz for a Saturday. Yeah, Chicago, Saturdays in the park. I think it was the 4th of July or the 5th of August. All right. I won't do the tromboning. Today, we're talking another fresh one. We're knocking these guys out left and right. Focusing again on the defense. We got another cornerback for you. Uh, it's it's cornerback kind of day. Calvin Simpson Hunt, six foot, 175 from Waxahachie, Texas. Another high four star. Again, these two corners. We might have only brought in two corners in this 23 cycle, but these guys are high level, high quality, highly ranked corners, you know. Um, so uh, Calvin Simpson Hunt. Was a 9710, number 62 corner in the class, number eight, wait, num number 62 player overall, number eight corner, number 11 player in the state of Texas. Let's get into the scouting report. Oh, hey, if I haven't said it in a while, I really appreciate you guys. I would appreciate you a lot more if you would subscribe, please, and share it with a friend. Don't forget that. But no, thank you. I really appreciate it. Hey, hit the bell if you want to get notified when we go live. Don't forget, we go live four days a week. There's only seven days in a week. We go live more than half of the week. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 4.30 to 5 p.m. Eastern. Then Sunday nights, our big long show. That's what she said. Uh, 8 p.m. Eastern. Me, Jeff, and Sean go at it. And... Uh, We'll get her done. So just wanted to reiterate that for the new people who have uh, been checking in. And hey, we're trying to get to 3,000 subscribers by week one. So we got like less than a month and we're just around 2,300. So we'd love to see this uh, subscription go grow. So please do your part. Thank you. On to the show. Scouting report for Calvin Simpson Hunt. He's a pure cover corner, corner with a size and top end athleticism. One of the best press man corners in this class uh, gave up just three catches as a junior. All right. Uh, he has good length. We love that and allows for him to initiate contact easily at the line of scrimmage and you can get that pop on the receiver. Uh, he can also consistently go up and high point the ball. So those 50, 50 balls end up in his favor many times. Um, so it'll probably get up to about 5'11", 190, most likely. Um, but he's a patient corner. He rarely rarely gets beat off the line of scrimmage. And he has the recovery speed to get back in phase if he does get beat. Um, we, should we call him CSH, Calvin Simpson Hunt? CSH, does that do anything for you? I will work on that. So CSH is a physical downhill player. He can make tackles in the backfield, enjoys matchups against top receivers, uh, doesn't have natural ball skills. That's why he plays defense, right? <laughs> Though he he did improve his, his ball production as a senior. And you guys know me. I'm a huge, huge ball production guy. Hands on balls, ball production all day long. As a senior, uh, CSH had 25 tackles in 10 games. That's impressive. Two TFLs, a fumble recovery, and three PBUs. Um, as a junior, he had 29 tackles, five TFLs, one sack, and a pick. Uh, Simpson Hunt's also a gifted track athlete, thus playing corner. Um, he ran a blistering 10 6 5 100 meter as a junior. That's freaking moving, man. Um, and then in 20, yeah, in 2021, he also posted a 22 12 in the 200. So impressive numbers there by CSH, right? Uh, committed to Texas Tech in November 2021. It's um, another flip that we forget about. He uh, committed to Texas Tech November 2021. Then his profile started going national. He had an offers from everybody across the country. Uh, Ohio State and Texas actually offered him on the same day in early May. And two weeks later, Alabama offered him. But Calvin Simpson Hunt took an official visit to Ohio State in June of 2022, shortly after flipped that bitch to, from Texas Tech to the Buckeyes. So uh, 
more about his uh, his play. Some corners are better suited for man coverage. Some are better at zone coverage. You know, it's just the way they gravitate to one or the other sometimes. But Ohio State is recruiting corners that specialize in press man coverage. They want to get up in your face, in your gorilla, and put their hands on you. Uh, CSH has the length, physicality, and ability to turn and run that makes him perfect for press man. So that's why he's a perfect type of recruit for this defense. So, again, and also being a track guy, he can flip his hips and run with anybody out there. He's not going to get roasted. Uh, Simpson Hunt has good size, but he has even better length. I wanted to reiterate that. He can get his hands on receivers at the line of, line of scrimmage, slow them down, throw off their timing, you know. But if he's playing off man a little bit, he can backpedal just fine, turn, run, and has catch-up speed to recover if need be. Um, so the Buckeyes return three corners with starting experience in this 2023 season. They added a fourth via the transfer portal with Davison Igbenosin. So as a summer enrollee, uh, CSH just got into got onto campus in June. Um, probably won't be pressed into action. Uh, but last year, <laughs> we said that last year about Jair Brown, and he ended up starting the fourth game of the season, right? Uh, because all three veterans were out. So hopefully – CSH is is not pushed in into uh, the fire, um, but he's a little behind his classmate Jermaine Matthews Jr., who was here for winter workouts and spring ball. Remember, we talked about him yesterday. Um, so Calvin Simpson Hunt has has that P word. He has all the potential. You know, the Buckeyes have have a good one with his aggressive nature his ability to stifle a route before it gets out of hand or run with a receiver. And he can always find the ball when it's in the air too. Um, and most importantly, probably he, he fits the culture of the program. You know, I did have one example I wanted to mention uh, in his senior year uh, would have been September of last year. Uh, he shut down a top 100 wide receiver in Texas uh, in one of their rivalry games in high school. Uh, it, it was a matchup with both of them being top 100 guys. Calvin Simpson Hunt manned up against Texas wide receiver uh, commit Jonte Cook. So I, I'm not sure if Jonte ended up being a five star or not. He was highly rated. He might have been a five star early on. But anyways, top 100 guy. So good. Um, you don't often see top end corners versus top end receivers in a high school game. Usually uh most teams, they just don't throw to that corner side of the field, right? But uh, in this game, very unique situation. Uh, Simpson Hunt lined up across from Cook for most of the game, and Cook finished the game with one catch for minus four yards, minus four. Uh, Calvin Simpson Hunt uh, primarily worked in, in press man coverage with no safety help, so alone on the island. CSH Island, we're going to call it. Um, he used his high-end length, movement skills, technical ability to essentially take Cook out of the game. Um, Cook was targeted five times with CSH in coverage and twice around the goal line and did not get a catch. Uh, CSH was in Cook's hip pocket all night and showed why he's one of the the best press man corners in this 2023 class. So that's why he fits uh, this Buckeye defense and what Tim Walton and, and the guys are looking for uh, in a corner. So appreciate you guys. Hope you're having a good weekend. Keep it rolling. We'll, hopefully we'll see you Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern. And uh, if any breaking news pops off today, we do have a K.J. Bolden commitment coming. Um you know, I'll do a breaking news segment and we'll we'll get some reaction Sunday night as well. So talk to you later. Appreciate you. Go Bucks.